Hello, my celestial Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Mystic Storm here to clear a path to a new life with you. If you're new, welcome to the family and soul tribe. I pray that this reading resonates with you and you're able to gain guidance, inspiration, love, and growth through this week, okay? So I will invite you to check out the Weekly Essences. They're intuitive guidance readings where we dive into astrology and then back that up with Oracle and Tarot. So if you want a more in-depth reading on the energies that be, make sure you check those out, okay? But we're here today for you, my Pisces. Yes, you. So let's dive in. So the color I got for you was white, the same as last week. And the message, oh, okay, was white with a road. I remember now, I remember it was white and I seen like a road, but everything was white. The trees, the grass, like the road in front of it, just all just white. And what I got, the message was paint your reality, paint your reality, because it's kind of like you have this clean canvas to work with. OK, so, yeah, paint your reality, be creative and know that it's up to you how you would like this week or your world or anything to go. OK, so let's dive in. We're going to get into the vice versa tarot. Spirit, what messages, what guidance do you have for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this week? <sighs> what messages do they need to know right now? What is their crowning energy? Too many cards. Thank you. This one. So what is this? This is the Queen of Wands here in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse. This is you needing to work with your power. Work on trusting yourself to manifest, okay? Then we have here, yeah... We have here the devil makes perfect sense, makes perfect sense. You have to work on your fears and knowing that they are here, huh? They are here. I'm seeing this lotus here. This lotus. Why is this lotus here? To show a sign of it's just up to you. Even in the midst of chaos, there's still hope, okay? So even in the midst of this fear that's going on, you can definitely break these chains and work through the fear and the obstacles so you can create, okay? Seeing a lot of orange here, so definitely sacral chakra here. All right, then we have the three of pentacles three of pentacles working collaborating okay with yourself and with others so this is probably you probably need assistance some support um, a mentor uh, or you might gain an apprentice that um you need to help guide but you might be afraid that you don't have all the tools know that you do this is just fear creeping in again. So yeah, definitely uh, working on support in order to bring in this abundance, okay? This, again, because you paint your reality. You, if you want to stay in fear, you can stay in fear. All right, then we have King of Cups. Yeah, you're going to get a grip of your emotions. And you're going to work through them and know that it's easy flowing from here, Okay easy flowing you're gonna go through go with the flow <laughs> uh, we got the <laughs> um my uh partner's watches here so i forgot that it uh, beeps on the hour but it was perfect time you're going with the flow you're going with the flow here so yeah definitely know that know who you are i feel like we forget that a lot 
we we let fear cripple us and not um and deter us from the support we have from the guidance we have but you know this might be really prominent during the beginning of the week but by the end of the week you you will get a grip on of your emotions and you will go with the flow more and you will remember who you are so you can and know that <laughs> your your emotions shape your reality too how you react to certain things determines how the rest of your day will go how a certain outcome will come about so really working on your emotions will be big this week big okay so let's jump into the soul cards Spirit, what messages, what guidance do you have for my Pisces? What does their soul want them to hear? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you. Yeah. You have the tools. You have the tools to bring in whatever you whatever your heart is calling you to okay opening up to receive them okay you have this vision of how you want your life to go how you want your life to be but you have to tap into that frequency you have to become that person that will get all these things so if you continue to stay low vibrational you will st you will stay in the reality that is that that you don't want to be in in a fearful low vibrational reality but this is you opening up and calling this new life in okay calling in that power that is rightfully yours okay releasing all those fears all right standing firm in what you believe in that is beautiful i love that i love that okay let's get into the oracle of the hidden worlds right what additional messages spirit do you have for my pisces sun moon rising and venus for this week I think this is temple dance or the liminal dance. Yes, delicacy, fragility, and transcendence or transcendence. Okay, this is you call it. This is ancestor vibes. Again, it's a lot of ancestral energy that's going on this week. Okay, this is you. This I feel like with the dancing too, this is like root chakra vibes getting rid of this because that's where your fears live your anxiety lives okay so dancing to release all that to get grounded and to call in this power that is inside of you especially the call the dance to calling your ancestors because they are here riding with you okay they're here guiding you so let's look at the illumination it says your every step has magic to it do not despair. Walk and dance with intent and let the shape of your days be created with your will. Wow, if that doesn't tap into the message, come on now, about paint your reality. It says, every step has magic in it. Do not despair. Walk and dance with intent and let the shape of your days be created with your will. Okay, so each step you take, each, anything that comes out of your mouth, whatever steps you take, okay, affects you, affects your reality, has magic to it because it uh, facilitates change 
it moves you into different dimensions, okay? Because there are multiple outcomes based on your reaction. It's your choice, the free will, okay? Like, I want to bring up that um, what really resonates, res bleh, resonated with me was I was listening to some music and Walk It Like I Talk It came on by Migos. Now, it hit me different, you know, since I've been in this spiritual walk. Walk it like I talk it. Hey, walk it like I talk it. Walk it like you talk it. Okay, like <laughs> I know I said the same thing, but in a different tone. Walk it like you talk it. Walk in this spiritual life. Walk in a state of abundance. Walk in the state of your power. Okay. And talk about it. Yeah. Practice what you preach. Practice what you preach. Okay. This definitely ties in with the three of... um pinnacles like i said you might have an apprentice or someone that you are that that wants to study under you and you have to walk it like you talk it don't tell them all this stuff but then you over here trapped up in fear okay walk it like you talk it all right we're gonna get into the wild offering this is the final message here what is the final message? Thank you. Doubt. Come on. <laughs> Doubt. This is, man, this is not a game. It's not a game. So let's, let's just read it. Let's read it. It says, offering all to the divine doesn't mean negativity never arises. But you can say, free me from this prison of doubt. Come on. Free me. From this prison of doubt, okay? I cast this burden to you. Show me your will and restore me to faith and confidence. So stop doubting yourself. Stop doubting yourself. Releasing that. Standing firm in your belief. Standing firm in yourself. Being secure and knowing that you can walk it like you talk it. Okay, because every step you take is a part of your manifestation, your painting, your reality. Do you want to paint it filled with doubt and fear? Or do you want to paint it with love and prosperity? Okay, think about that. Every step you take has an effect on you, Pisces. It's your choice. All right. So this is what we have for this week. I hope you all enjoyed. I pray that this message gave you inspiration, strength, and guidance to go throughout this week. So yeah, we clearing paths to a new life here and it's up to us. It's up to us. And I hope you all uh, don't take this lightly. I hope you all make every step you take with intention, okay? I love you all, my Pisces, and I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.